hello everyone so today i am going to work on this so last episode we worked on this part where we can uh, detect the upper knob and move up or jump up like this and today i'm going to work on this jump down part so this character detects the uh, knobs below and when i press s uh, it will move or oh, let go of the upper knob and move to the below knob so if there are no knobs that the character can hang on to he will not leave it even if i press w so here there are no more knobs to hang on so if i press s character doesn't leave so right that's the part i'm going to work on today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Right, so at the moment my character can jump like this and grab on the knobs and can move up but uh, still it cannot detect or jump into any of the knobs in the sides to the left or to the right so that's the part we have to refine now and as you know I had already worked on that but I wanted to revisit and refine these mechanics so that's why I'm doing it okay so for that I'm gonna use this animation this is for hope which one is hop left yeah this is hop left hop left and this is hop right okay so let's open our main ch human character and go to the place where we scan for the knobs first part is to detect in the knob and the next part is to jump into that knob so this is climb up part ah sorry yeah as, the, as we are working on this move forward axis before going to sides first i should work on uh, move it down part because when i press s the character should be able to move down or let go of this current knob and hang on to the knob below so we need to complete that first right so let's see so this part takes place um, if the axis value is larger than zero basically we do a multi sphere race for, for objects and we are looking for this knob type objects and then get the closest knob uh, because that's the one we should grab onto then using this get hand offsets uh, we play this montage and move our character to that knob so that's basically what we do well is there a way to use the same function instead of implementing it new right we can do for the detection part we can do something like this let's split this and let's select this uh, base tone all right let's skip this branch check and can we connect Uh, 
is like this so instead of climb up I'll make this climb up or down yeah and then I have this axis value if this one is larger than zero then I'll select make this 500 otherwise minus 500 okay and then oh let's see what happens Well, even if I press S, the same thing happens. Okay. Oh, wait. This is the start, the location, and then the location also need to be changed, right? Yeah. This one hundred and eighty. Let's do a select here. same way like this okay now let's see Right, now it works. Uh, maybe we can do one more thing. Let's see. We can, what if I play this montage? Can I use minus values here? Yeah, let's try that. So here, um, let's select the speed, if it is plus 1.5, otherwise minus 1.5, and use this. Oh, it doesn't work like that. Yeah, how silly of me. All right. So, yeah, then what we should do is we should we need another animation montage. This is the montage. Let's uh, nope down. Let's try it like this, and let's uh, make this minus, and let's see. Okay, now then. We can select the montage. Uh, 
like this if it is false uh, no down otherwise no hop up right let's see how it looks yeah okay I think that's good enough all right that will do so but I think uh, still there is room for room to improve on animation so I will leave that for another episode uh, because I, I couldn't find suitable animations in Mixamo mm. right and yeah I'll stop for today so as always uh, if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club the link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can Yeah, also you can download the uh, project files will be available here and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye